Um, is this thing on? <laughs> it's MG the Future, you know what I'm about. Today is a wonderful October the 3rd, 2020. It's a Saturday. We're on East Coast time. It's 4.30. A couple minutes past 4.20. You know what I'm about. I'm him. I'm, I'm, I'm him. Today, I will be probably making loops and samples and tings, firing up some hardware modules because that's cool. But the focus should be and ought to be Neoverb by Isosope. Brand new plugin. Please stay seated. If you catch this on a replay, just fast forward the video until you see Neoverb. It could be an hour from now. It could be three hours from now. And depending on how I feel, it could be five. But... Neoverb is goaded. I'll show you what I'm talking about if all things go well. Until then, sit back and enjoy the tunes of MG The Future from a couple years ago. Featuring MG The Future, produced by MG The Future on the MG The Future channel. Drop a like, subscribe, leave a comment if you're on a replay. That's my channel, that's my channel, that's his channel, that's a... Channel, uh, channel, going. It's a channel, it's a channel, that's my channel, going, up, going, up. Can you hear me? Got 21 watching, 21 dropping, now 21 platinum. Drop those likes before I say sight. I don't even have my preamp on, preamp on. Eunice and Mike doing it wrong. Facebook be loading like your daggone uh, UAD plugins are refreshing. Like, what is going on? Dog, I don't care what my page looks like as a visitor, my dude. Let me create a post. I didn't come here for fashion. <laughs> I came here to share a link, bro. Facebook always wants you to learn something new so you can buy some ads. Like, bro, bye. Show it to the five people following me, bro. Don't get me caught up in the matrix. Where's my Discord? Link at now. So I can share it in the core. Tired of my, tired of my, tired of my audio driver buffer. Every time I upload a new app, and then it's suffering. Ooh, suck it, Ooh, you know what I'm talking about? Nah. Oh, that was fire, bro. That beat was hard. I had a song to it, too. They didn't record it. You can tell I put a little bit too much saturation on that bottom one. Pause. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom. Got my legs straight. Hey, hey. I think this is another machine type beat. Mix and logic. Really hate to see it. You can always tell because the only thing you hear on machine beats are the snare. Boom. 
Versicure with the share. Rare commodity with the share. I appreciate you, brothers, for real. That's my homie, for real. I even, I even fixed my audio driver to send virtual channels. Shout to CMP with the link. This joint right here is kind of fire, though. save a little bit for your soulmate, I guess. Hate to see it. I'm saying we just gotta slowly just just stir it a little bit until the hi-hats come back in with the phasers. You know what I'm talking about? It's like, it's like putting just a little pinch of ginger in the green tea. Put a little, little matcha powder, you know what I'm talking about? Just put a little honey at the bottom and let it simmer. You know what I'm talking about? Then let that 808 come in, you know what I'm talking about? There it is. These are these wide open beats where I be like listening to it. I be like, yo, we need more sounds. And you be like, no, you don't. You need a voice. Those beats are easy too, because like three sounds per thing. You know what I'm talking about? SimG, you know what I'm about. Let's greet the chat. Let's play one more joint that was pretty fire with the secret ancient Chinese secret drums. I remember this. You know what I'm talking about? I think that sample tank on the guitar. Let's talk about it later. And Tony McKinney's in the building. Dirty DRP, I see. Arson, yo, Baltimore's in his house. Versa kill, I see you fam. Try out. Oh. Roderick. King commit. King flex. Sayo Kalando. Melodic mouse. Salute. Will tie. Peace. Black soul. I see you. Donye. Serious Dwick. Low cuts. Ben Clips. MG the future on the hi-hats. Sometimes I gotta send hi-hat loops to myself. Let's talk about it. Melodic mouse said what's good with Will Tie. Low cuts says subscribe. Like the comment, share, and subscribe. 607, swinging and banging. Hate to see it. Corey Broad. We're in the building 590. Building shelves on a Saturday. MG starts streaming. Oh boy, Ben Clips. Marky Fats. Corey Broad says that's the T minus lead. No, sir, that is the R. Kelly lead. We gotta we gotta put we gotta put respect on R. Kelly's name, bro, with the singing sine waves. With the uh, double the double diatonic harmony joints. The little the third harmony joints he used to play. Like you play like a chord, but without the third. That's R. Kells. Unless you're talking about the triangle lead. Which I won't give it a T minus. I know what you're talking about now. You're talking about, and I'm on one. Burr, 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 burr. But that's more like a filter video game sound. Let's talk about it. Cash App MG the Future for a hot 16. I can do it now. Don Lucci says, to cool back, you dropping back to back streams. Kings to got to catch up. DJ Georgie Porgy, thumbs up, gang. We in here. Ayo, hey, Laclando, William Otto. Ah, I'm about to say William Otto, because I was thinking about the Ottoman Empire today. Let's talk about it. William Oates is in the building. Damon is in the building. Roderick says, all I see is the live feed on my phone. What does that mean? Shouts to the fellow demons, heathens, Morrises, Moors, gods, and goddesses. Much love and respect. Masada NPC. Peace, everyone. Robert Brown. DJ Tyson. Thumbs up. Ronald St. Just. What's good? Verbo Artiste. Peace. Deontay DJC. Candace Faber. Dropping a like. Take care. I'm a thumbs down the stream until I'm no longer a beat feedback type dude. Beats by ML wants to get banned from the Discord. Hate to see it. 590, it sounds real when you're on studio monitors. Which sounds real? Audio dropping out, Arson? Is my audio dropping out now? Let me know. 61 watching, 20 something likes. We gotta do it better. Who are the ops? Who are these industry people watching us? Who are these developers developing? When your ops still love you, hate to see it. Oof. Current. What's good, bro? Ebenezer. Obi and Chiba. 10 Gs. That's kind of fire, too, bro. Ernest Taylor. This one's from like 15 years ago. Tariq. Salam. They come Salam. You know what I'm talking about? Stefan. MG the past, present, and future. What's good, bro? Tone. I see you. I know what you're about. b -Hoss. The beat you are playing, of course. Oh, sounds real through Studio Monitors. Oh, I appreciate that, man. I actually mixed it. That's why. 
I didn't put the mastering on that first one. That second one, the bass was just too loud. I just don't know that. With my new converters and headphone port. <laughs> That's funny. I can hear all the flaws of that. My, head, well, my headphones did change from when I made those. I got these headphones I share. I like this too. Let's just let this ride for a minute. How you doing today, Tone? How you doing today, MG? How am I doing? I'm doing all right. I can't complain. I had a, I had a little meltdown earlier because I bought a new... Uh, bought me a brand new MIDI joint, um, like MIDI to USB controller, like a USB to MIDI uh, wire. And I was plugging in, you know, in to in, out to out, and I wasn't getting any signal on my Motif. And it was making me really sad because I haven't used my Motif in a, in a while. And Motif has the best pianos from the, you know, the, the workstation days. And I like making samples with pianos and I couldn't. I couldn't because someone did this backwards. It's crazy that their example has an NPC live on it too. Stay woke. But anyway, the end goes to the out and the out goes to the end and that was messing me up. Then when I knew that or I, or I figured that, it still didn't work. So I tried plugging into my access virus because my access virus is right there. Plug it out, switch it, plug it in. You know, I, fi I figured it'd be really easy. Nope. 20 minutes later, my access virus is like, oh, sorry, when you have MIDI plugged in, we don't know what to do. And I was like, all right, cool. Send me audio at least access virus. In fact, I still don't even know if the access virus goddamn works right now. That's really going to like put salt in my game. But I got it to work with the motif, long story short. So I have acoustic motif pianos on deck, which are going to be fire, sending through the preamp, which is going to be more fire, then preamp for my preamp and UAD console, which is extra fire because there's EQ on it, and then send that through Neoverb, which, guys... This video is about Neoverb, so I'm not going to get too deep, at least not at the beginning. You know, we can get deep at the end of it, but God damn it. Isotope done, did a thing. Um, I have a link in the description, of course, as an affiliate link. I don't get too many of those clicks anymore because everyone else gets to drop their video before me. wonder what that's about, conspiracy, chismas. But it'll take you to this page. You can get the cross grade, blah, 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 blah. But flat out, it's $199. I don't think it's going to stay like that because production suite is one thing, $200 for one of the other upgrades. And most of us have isotope, neutron, lights, and uh, ozones and stuff. So I don't think you'll end up paying full price. But what's interesting about this, it kind of looks and kind of feels like that one, the Morpheus filter that they had. I didn't use that as much as I should have. I didn't have an XY controller to automate it. So I was like, meh. But... When you see this, you kind of like when you look at this description of this reverb, bro, you're like, okay, so this is like the Clev Grand reverb. I'm like, no, okay, this is like the U UVI reverb. Cause you know, I have all the reverbs, right? Like, I have every reverb ever known to man, except for like two. And it was like, nah, they ain't that no shame. They ain't it either. So I was like, well, it looks like these pretty plugins. Does it sound like these pretty plugins? Nah, no shame. So just by looking at it, just reading the description, you're gonna miss it. Like, cause it has pre-EQ and all this stuff, right? And if you just if you're just browsing really fast, you'd be like, bro, I have all the Valhalla reverbs, like all the cool kids on YouTube and make loops use Valhalla. Man, 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 man. That's only $49. What the hell's wrong with Isotope? I don't need that. Man. Mm. <laughs> that is not what this plugin is about. This plugin is about this one section right here, buddy. Oh my god. They put the goddamn AI in goddamn reverb. Now, unless you've heard, so <laughs> I just started laughing when I tried it. I tried it one time, bro. Oh, wow. Talking about Inception. I tried that sucker one time. I was like, that's it. Let's go live. Um, <laughs> no. <laughs> that shit had me fooled, bro. Because the, the, my bro, my connected isotope hit me up early with it. And I was like, a reverb plugin? You know what? I ain't a hater. I'll go ahead and check it out. I appreciate the love. Thank you for keeping me in the loop, Mr. Isotope. And I was like, all right, I'll check it out. You know, I figured when it went live, Av was just going to jump on and do it. So I didn't bother to do it that particular day. Because, like, what's the point of going back to back to back? Because everyone says, oh, man, it seems like all of all the YouTubers get the plug-in on at the same time. I was like, I get you. You're a hater. I get it. Let me wait. Here I am, waiting. But when I heard it, when I heard what it was doing, when I, no, not when I heard it, it's, so it's visual, too. When I seen what it was doing. So, so, I, so I'll give an example. Let's not use it. <laughs> Let's get the motif popping, first of all. That don't dare stop. See, this USB MIDI thing is a pain, bro. I got it off of Amazon. It was a pain in the butt, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. 
So I have the uh, motif going through mono. Can y'all hear that? Of course not. Why would y'all be able to hear that? I don't know why my system does not allow you guys to hear inputs. It does that on Luna too. Like audio coming into my sound card, it doesn't route to the main, but it's routed to the main. You see that? It's routed to the main. Let me see something. Can y'all hear anything from Ableton? That's a whole different can of worms. Hold up. Hold up. Hey, but -da -but -da -but -da -dum Snoop Dogg and we don't. Okay, so we got Trapanese Volume 4. Did you guys cop that already? Because it's definitely on my website if you haven't. There is hi-hat MIDI in there, 808 kick MIDI in there, and melodies in there. But I just want to hear a composition to see if you guys hear the composition. Let's talk about it. Huh. No. Ableton Live is not playing this game with me at all. Let me see where this is going, because we might have a problem, Houston. Nope. Hold on, guys. Got to do a troubleshooting move. I bet you was able to. Hold on, before I do that. Because we ain't got to do it in Ableton Live now. I can do it in Fruity Loops. I can do it in any doll. I'm a, I'm a jack of all dolls. Pause. Nah, it's not giving me any audio for y'all. There is no love in this audio streets. Hold on, hold on, guys. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Why? Uh, why you gotta back and leave me now? Why you gotta act like that? You normally be changing up. I be having audio. Why you wanna act like that? Keeping it ghetto. No, 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 no. Yeah, it's not. It's not doing it. That's interesting. I changed something. And something I changed said, no, sir, you cannot. Oh, I know what I changed. I changed the virtual output of my sound card. Thus, it says, no, sir. You guessing. You was wrong. Oh, you guessing. Nope. You was wrong. I think he guessing. Nope. You was wrong. Uh, are you guessing? Nope. You was wrong. Oh, you guessing? Ah, huh, interesting. El interesante way. Let me check one more thing. Audio file. Let me see something real quick out now. You know, they try to play me, bro. I don't like that. It's not, it's not loading audio through that at all. Mm-mm. They said, no, sir. Hello. Hello. No, that ain't it. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. That's my voice twice. Hate to see it. There she go. You see them hi-hats hi-hatting? Can y'all hear the hi-hats? Can, can, can we drop a Y in the chat if you can hear the hi-hats hi-hatting? Oh, this is a 21 Savage type beat. Can y'all hear that? Let me know. If y'all can't hear that, I ain't going live no more. I'm going to turn this off. Can y'all hear that? Why in the chat? Okay, so we got that. One more thing. Let me switch my um my other seat my other setup back because you know I'm doing some fancy stuff in here. I need my fancy schmancy virtual channels back because I don't like it without it. Better start working. God dang it! All this for some reverb. You know the vibes. That's why I be telling people fast forward an hour and then backtrack. One more time. Oh, we got virtual channels and we got hi hats back. Oh, so my computer just be trying to play me today because. I had the hardware issues. Hold on. Now it's freezing. Now it's freezing. Now my computer freezing. Don't be freezing on me. Yo, this computer try to... You ever had like someone in your life that said they love you and support you, but they just put salt on your game? That's the um, Apple drivers. Because now we don't hear it again. Again. Come on, dog. Whoa. Hold on. Y'all heard the hi-hats, but y'all hear Ableton. That is a weird thing. Is this like the old ASIO days where you could release driver in the background? Is that what's happening to me? Ashton Kutcher, where are you, sucker? I'm sorry, guys. These are technical, these are technical difficulties. <laughs> it is play with my emotions. And I don't like my emotions being played with. Y'all already know, bro. I'm trying to be nice. Yo, you mess with my emotions. Y'all hear that, though? Y'all know? Okay, I see how. I see why and how you guys hear that. I see what's going on. I see what's going on, Murasaka. 
I don't know how that's going to play out in the end, though. I don't like using that driver for these. But I'll use that driver for these. Oh, no, Murasaka. You're trying to play my emotion, young boy. Okay, Murasaka. Let me see if the reverb will play through that particular driver, because that is the tricky part. I just need the output to go to you guys. That's all. All I need is output to go to y'all. That's all. Can y'all hear that? Y'all should be able to hear that. Muda Soka. Alright. Part two. And y'all should hear my motif too, right? Oh, that boy a genius. Oh, that boy had to do some clever routing. That is routing to the fullest. That boy needs... I need to get a Grammy for engineering prowess. And the ADAT showing up. And the virtual channel showing up. You know what I'm talking about? That boy, bro, I'm going to get a Pensado Award for YouTube streamers with technical difficulties. You know what I'm talking about? All right, we lit. I think I see it. I don't know if y'all hear it. Why in the chat? I appreciate y'all. Okay, cool. So let's move some of this stuff around. Oh, I got to see if the accents virus work too. Y'all know I'm going to be tweaking if it don't. I never had to do that before in the focus right drivers. It was like that time I let my computer borrow my Moesha special DVD. For eleven ninety nine, dollars if you charge it interest. <laughs> I love these drivers are right hating on me. Oh man. Okay, so y'all hear the motif piano. Beautiful, whatever, you know, 2001. Here we go. All right, so let's use a, a regular reverb. I think that's what the, the main thing is going to be. Um, Valhalla is what we all use on the internet. I don't know why we do that, but we all do. Valhalla's lit. Valhalla has different um modes, chambers, rooms, plates. Has different colors, 1970s, 1980s, and now. It skipped the 1990s. <laughs> what was that about? And what this reverb assumes that you know how to do, which I don't, is how to set it up. Now, I ha I don't have complete NA education. I have limited NA education. <laughs> Young Guru's in the building. Hey, he said the masking features, everything. We're cutting in line, Guru. You, you, you're, skipping the, you're, you're, skipping, you're skipping the line. You're skipping the lesson. So, uh, so of course, you do that, and you'd be like, all right, well, you know, everyone knows how to do the, the Dret and Y mix or the send and receipt return type joint. Most people do that. Most people are like, ah, oh, it's too long. Pause. Or too short. Some people might watch a reverse reverb tutorial and copy those settings. There's damping. Got me there. I have no idea what that means. Size. It sounds like it's doing something interesting. Then attack on it. What's the difference between an attack and a pre-delay? You know what I'm talking about? I don't know. That's NA education. Diffusions. I guess like when it bounces off the wall. Is it in a concrete jungle or wooden basque? I don't know. And then of course you EQ and you treat it at the end. You can cut some of the lows off and cut some of the highs off. And basically, you're supposed to know what sounds best for your sound. The problem is, if you multiply each of these parameters times each other, I forgot. What was the cardinal math stuff that they taught us in calculus? I don't know. But you end up getting a billion possibilities of the perfect reverb. And sometimes that doesn't work. So what do we do? We get lazy. We go to default. We go to plates. We do a tight plate. And then we just go... I guess that sounds nice. Sounds like I'm somewhere luxurious for Rick Ross. And you're like, I'm gonna run with it. I'm gonna run with it. And that's what you end up doing. And that's how everybody loops sound the same. Cause we're all doing the same thing. We're using the same nice preset and we might adjust the mix. I didn't even talk about pre-delay. That's another thing. Young Guru said that on Twitter. Y'all need to start adding pre-delay and how to do pre-delay pre calculation. You do something times 60 divided by BPM. Then you have to do the hypotenuse of the square of the sun, depending on the solstice. And you subtract the numbers. And then you do the quarterly quartet if it's a half beat, quarter beat, or 32 note. And you're like, Ooh, what do I put on violins? Yeah. So that's usually the struggle of reverb. And what happens is... It's, 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 so so we so producers or beat makers I should say, we're using reverbs creatively, and what happens is when you're using it creatively, it kind of gets away from the difference and what happens when you're using reverb to mix. And neoverb 
gives us the training wheels we need to start recognizing the patterns of how to use reverbs and mix. So that alone is awesome. So now I'll show you. And we need a little bit more gain. I've been practicing my, my gain staging from outboard stuff, so everything's really low. Um, so I'm gonna put a utility on the master bus. Hopefully that gets the piano louder. Hey, hey. Don't you, like sometimes don't you wish you knew the um, Young and the Restless piano? Cause I don't, I should have been learned that. I should have been learned the, the Young and the Restless. I, I haven't, sleep. Anyway. So this is Motif for All. Oh, another thing. Reverb on bright sounds or instruments or like bright octaves. Like if you play reverb down here, like. is a lot different than when you put reverb on shit like. And sometimes we use the same reverb preset or setting for both. And I'm just gonna tell you that's any education. All right, so let's play something real quick. Something like that, capture it. Whoa, whoa, that shocked me. All right, play that one more time. Oh, so it didn't know I did that in even 4-4? Four, four? Okay, whatever. We can um, crop it. What's good, Banger Two Times? I see you, bro. The Donde Esta El Two Bar Loop, though. Come on now. Let's not be let's not be clamorous out here. We end on the three, right? All right, whatever. Something like that. Something like time stretching MIDI. Who invented that? Because they're a genius. I wish I had that at 10 years old. I'd be way better right now. No cap. Crop clip again. Now you know that's way too fast, sir. Let's go to 120 beats per minute or so. Let's half it. There we go. There's fillings in this. Let's change it to another one. That's a home piano. Let's go to UAD real quick because I done messed up the EQ on this already. I done hit it with the Neve, you know what I'm talking about? We can, we can high cut it on the way in. I don't know why that's exciting, but it is. You put some body on that, like Buffy, you know what I'm talking about? I don't know. Y'all might not get it. But what I need to do is make sure that this channel isn't peeking past my, my targeted mental uh, appropriation type thing I got going on. It isn't. Cool. All right, we lit. Neve style. Let's go. All right. So when you so when you're making loops and stuff, I, I technically speaking, if I was if this was a VST, I just keep playing more parts. But since I'm gonna have to dub everything to audio, it's gonna take a little, an extra few steps. But that's not important to get the sauce out of this particular plugin. This particular plugin is very interesting because it's just like Neutron. So you, like I'm saying, when you look at it on first glance, you're like, what are we talking about? I think I know what a reflection is, do you? You could turn it down or something, more space, I guess. I went to more reflections and I got less space. So, you know, it's got that chord chaos thing about it. Then it's got the pre-EQ, I guess. You could cut the bass out of the reverb before it's sent. Exactly. And they got the post-reverb EQ, like, ah, you got mud in your track now. That's why you can't hear your 808s, ho. Then you turn this down. And then you got the mix on it. You'd be like, I need more, pause. And you'll do that. And like I said, it looks and functions very similar to the UVI joint. So I was like, meh. But instead of doing that, hit reverb assistant. Who does that? Who does a reverb assistant? Who does that? This is like, this is like having a little midget hanging from your necklace that could telepathically change reverb settings. So what, it, so what it does is, it tells you, do you want a realistic reverb, acoustic piano? Sure. Rick Ross, Maybach music type loop? Sure. You want a dramatic reverb? You like space, synth wave, things like that? Sure. And it has the different variations, which I'm sure micro adjusts the, uh, the settings for like pre-delay, calculations, dry to wet, and um, you know, reflections. Then it has the size of the reverb. 
<laughs> you know, you, now you can like, you can figure it out, I guess. You're like, yo, okay, I guess I want to, you know, I'm in a, I'm in a yacht. Yachts don't have a large hall. They have like a small hall. And then the tone, which is the EQ, I'm sure, right? Either you want an airy tone, a dark tone. Uh, we're in a yacht. We want a dark tone. We want it realistic. Dry, wet, I don't know what that's about yet. What we do is the, the dry to wet signal, but I don't know if you need to modify it early. And then we'll do next on that hoe. You know what I'm talking about? It's easy money. It's the easiest money I've seen. It sounds real. So it cut off the highs on the way in. And on the post, it really didn't do nothing. It says sounds real enough, sir. That's without it. You didn't even notice it did it. Now, the motif is one of the best pianos, so it sounds good. But you see how like it's right back here in your nasal cavity? I'm gonna put it back on. We're right there. You can smell the wing stop. All that shit, like... Aw, oh, come on, son. What are we talking about? Know what I'm talking about? Young Guru says, reflections are how far away you are from the sound. Yeah, I don't even know what that means. I know what, you, I know what you're saying, but I don't know what that means. I don't know what ref reflections. Do I put a mirror next to my monitors? Like, how many do I need? More reflections mean I'm close or far? You know what I'm saying? We don't have, we don't have the lessons on that. We don't have the Supreme Mathematics on Reverb yet. But that sounds cool, bro. It sounds real. So let's put a more draconian, dramatic setting on it. We're gonna try dramatic. We're gonna try extra large. Pause. <laughs> oh man, so dramatic and extra large. And we're gonna put it in. We're gonna put it into a uh, airy situation, which should make it mm, hopefully not unusable, right? This time it cut off the bottom. That's without it. It's just a touch. It just has a, it's a it has a, this particular reverb. So like, you know, I still love my uh, UAD plate reverb because it's like, it's an effect. But this one has a touch to it. Like it's a it's a gentle touch of reverb. And I think that's cool. I think it's very useful. Like I said, especially if you're mixing. In this case, one thing that I notice when I'm making loops, especially if I use uh sounds from multiple different sources, which is probably where this particular example is going to shine, um, there's difficulty in kind of making them sound cohesive. So reverb kind of helps you, you know, bus compression or, or yeah, bus compression, reverb, and a uh, master EQ kind of helps you blend or mold things into the same space. But I notice I'm, I'm always messing up on the reverb. So I'm hoping in theory that this kind of plugin will help add cohesiveness to loops. And of course, we can adjust to dry and wet when sending buses to it. So it'd be like a nice little hack. Remember back in the day, I don't know if you guys are outside back then, but the original series of Ozone, I think Ozone two through five, used to have a master reverb. So this ain't Isotope's first time at the uh, reverb show. They had a plate reverb, if I'm not mistaken, on the master module. And we used to abuse the hell out of that on our instrumentals for sound click. Because you could just add a touch of it, and it just added the sparkle and cohesiveness to your whole beat. Matter of fact, a lot of the beats that kind of kind of sound like dim, because, you know, we weren't mastering engineers. It's just like our beats kind of sounded meh. So when you add that plate reverb from Isotope Ozone to old ones, it'll come, it, it basically breathes life into it. So I'm suspecting... This is exactly what's going to happen here. And of course, once you get this setting, you can then fluctuate and go through the different, you know, types of reverbs, I'm assuming, like you want to go to a chamber instead. Or a room. Or a plate. Oh, it's two reverbs, and you mix between them, eh? Ain't that a trip? 
So it's blending reverbs. This is similar to their voice joint, their vocal synth. I get it. All right, cool. Man, we got it here. Cool. So I'm gonna take that off. We're gonna add some more sounds to the motif, ideally. MG, you're gonna have to cut the little midget his publishing. <laughs> I know, right? Reverb, mess around and help me sing. Yes. I know the master reverb. Nerd African, what's good, Chief? Ozone 4 was lit. Yes. Okay, let's hear it. How much? DJ Georgie Porch, he said. It's a, links in the description of the video. But let's continue building from here. Featuring MG the Future and MG the Future. <laughs> Yo, y'all are funny, man. YouTube, messing with your notifications, x.com. I'm sorry to hear it. B-Boy, I see you. Mars Champions in the building. I see you. Who else I miss? Cold Fire, Stefan, Roderick, Deontay, Sour Dutch. Yeah, man. So let's keep... Uh, what does 607 say? I saw you real quick. Chase Bliss, Dark World, and the mail on the way to me. Hopefully as good as, as Neil Verb. Nah, they're two different things, Chief. Uh, Dark World. Bro, why are you telling everybody our business, bro? See, y'all don't be holding none of the sauce. I'm still buying reverb pedals. Don't get it twisted. But that's for sound design. Like, for me, like it, my brain, like, you know when you shut your... I don't know, guys. I can't explain this. I don't want to project that on everybody. But my brain, like, when it comes to creating stuff, I have, like, you don't, like, uh, how do I say it? I, I, well, I'll, I'll just keep it simple. Neoverb, I'm probably not going to use when I'm running my Moog, right? Like, I'm not, I'm not going to hit my Moog. Well, that controls the motif, too. Hate to see it. I'm not going to be running my Moog through Neoverb at first. I don't, I don't imagine why I would need to. Because I have guitar pedals to run my Moog through that have reverb. And it, and it in itself has a spring verb. So I'm not thinking. My brain doesn't think about, oh, yeah, man, when I sauce this Moog up and get my Mike Dean on. Or we should call him Bike Bean. You know, because I'm the colored version. When I get my Bike Bean on, um, I'm probably going to, I'd probably rather use the Cooper stuff. And then I'm um, using the Neutron to, to curtail the effect that I created. Same thing is going to be true for Dark World, I imagine. So, uh, and I got Strymon, my Blue Sky, the same thing. Blue Sky, I wouldn't mix with. You can, though. Like, my Uncle Neil Pogue used the god daggone um, Elise's Nano Verb on Hey uh, on that little synth lead on the top. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. I think that was a reason synth or something, and he put Elise's Nano Verb on it. So, like, if you really, if you nice, you probably can use all of them. But I'm not nice like that. Not yet. Give me 10 more years. Then I'll be nice and I can give you the summation of reverbs. But for now, um, yeah. So I have my pa I have a sonic color palette. And then right now, Neoverb in my head is for mixing. So nah, 607. I don't see any uh, real conflict at all. What's called all A9? Most things good, bro. Been doing some construction of late. That's why I'm late to class. Hey, if you're doing construction, hold it down. P.O.P., baby. Hold it down. All right, guys, let's bring out Contact. Ooh, an instrument that you'll never knew MG the Future had, because I do. I'm going to see if I know these chords. Contact, don't freeze me, bro. I'll uninstall you tomorrow. I have the ghetto version of Contact, the free version. Thus, I can only use three types of instruments. This is the only Contact instrument that I have. And I think it costs more than Contact itself. Don't ask me if that makes sense. The dawn is How do we use this again? I don't even know what chords I play were. What's that sound? I heard that in the record recently. Anyway. I forgot how this works. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. There's a way for this to work now. Hold on now. Don't get cute out here. I'm gonna figure it out. Give me one second. My brain is gonna be like, hey, you remember that one time you used this? I think you have to hit the button. Don't be 
keep popping on me, bro. Why are you so loud, then? Yes, sir. That's how we do it. It should do it the other way, though. What? I don't get it. That's annoying. Okay, I get what you're trying to do, but sir... Got it. Got it. All right, cool. So we want to see how a uh, contact guitar sounds through that. The don de se que lo se. Mm hmm. Where are the notes that I am trying it at? Why do I do this to myself? Why do I try to be so complex, bro? Maha, MG thinks he's Skrillex. Mm -hmm. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe I don't think I'm Skrillex. Maybe I just have two hands and one pair of shoes. <sighs> Extend these notes. We need legato. Something FL should have gave Ableton. Dun -dun 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 this would have been done already. Cool. And then we nestle, whoa, whoa, I know you're going to dig this. And then I need to uh, overdub the uh, trigger note. I miss that whole thing. So that's why I don't use this that much because the contact instrument doesn't necessarily, uh, it doesn't always catch you know, the downbeat or whatever. I don't know if it's clocking the DAW sync, the clock, like the clock sync of the contact instrument has any education. Considering how much it costs, I'm like, meh. See what I'm saying? Why? Why? So you know what that means, right? I have to record it and then realign it. Whatever. I just want to hear what it does. This, this is blues. Well, let's do it. <laughs> For added realism, MG adds strumming modes that don't sound right in context. They tried it. They, they, they tried to be cute with that design. But Neoverb is the, the name of the day. Neoverb. Realism. Medium room. Airy. What's good? What's good? Definitely Dimmery. Why do most piano players have bad highs when smoking? I don't know. I don't even, I've never even done that survey. Oh God, that is not a real question. Cut it out. Mm -hmm. That helped with the realism of it a lot. God, dang. 
I didn't even notice it happened. That's tricky. You gotta be careful with that. Wouldn't it be nice if it was in line with the piano, though? Like, whoa, like, hold on. Hold on. Let's slow it down, guys. Let's, let's, let's just dub the motif real quick. Is there reverb on that? Nope. Yeah, so we're not going to, we'll put reverb on both. I think this style will work. I might have to, um, I might have to do some trickery, some tricknology to, to make this sound like they go together. I don't think it, they don't go together yet. This is a uh, home piano. Meh. Call it Mo. Home piano. There we go. Let's. The motif got a little hezzy on it too. I ain't gonna lie. Cool. So now we out of that matrix. Create a new track for that. No problem. I think we could just hit it on auto. Put a home piano. My least favorite thing, but at least we have the ability to do it. We're going to take the boundaries off and um, we're just going to move the whole thing together, the whole bracket together till we get to that downbeat right there. We're going to right click and crop it so it's only that. There's a little delay on my part in the playing. If I need to, I can, you know, warp marker it if I need to make it exact, right and exact. Whoa, I didn't like that. It's still called the. Oh, that's fake. Okay. That's not real. That's not an audio file. Thank God. All right. So that's cool. Flawless victory. Whatever. Um, now we got to get this contact instrument the same type of love. I think we can freeze track, right? Is that the... Hold on. Mm. Well, uh, do I want the guitar reverb by itself and then separate? And then put them both in a new reverb? So it's like exhibit, put my reverb and my reverb with my reverb. I got a Glock in my Rari. I don't know. Don't know the answer to that question. We'll delete it for now. We'll, bu we'll bust this down real quick. Well, how does this work? You just go, meh. Rename it jazz guitar. Ain't no problem there, right? Hit that with the El Friso. Yeah. We can freeze and flatten, right? But MG, what if you want to change the notes? Never. That's a freeze. There's a freeze in the system here, sir. All right, we can unable or disable some of these tracks. External inputs not on air. Why is it playing with my emotions in terms of, in terms of tempo? They're not in the same time at all. I don't even know. Why are you playing from that second half too, bro? I'm gonna figure this out. This is this is a goddamn Scooby-Doo mystery right now. Hold on. I'm trying to play my emotions, bro. Come on, dog. Starting right here, you 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 Bama. Mess up my whole flow, bruh. Come on, Ableton. There we go. There we go. Okay, cool. Turn this down a little bit. Yeah, so we're going to put these in two different reverbs. I want one more sound, though. Like a counterpunch sound. It'd be a shame if I had a synthesizer that could sound good, but unrealistic at the same time. <laughs> um, Moog, do donde? Your channel 14. Let's go. Let's go, Moogie. It's your time to shine, sir. 
We need another track. Edit, it, did it, and it, meh, meh. Moog. Why are you, meh? Here it is. Meh. What? Oh, cut it out. Whoa, that's sharp. It's been warming up for about an hour. So we'll see what a synthesizer sounds like in such a tube. Hey yo. Hey yo. You're a little too loud. What was the chords I was playing? <laughs> I don't even know what I was playing. I was like. Okay. We got it, we're gonna figure it out. Oh, I gotta go down. One half scope. Something like that. How do I fix this? I don't know, a new to school for fashion. I don't want to quantize it. What's good automatic? What's good low spot, Frank? The move is always loud as hell. All right, cool. So we'll isolate that real fast, just for the for the for the vibes. All right, cool. We can mute that. We can put the MIDI on the outside. Um, and I think it's cream on the inside. What did he say? He said, uh, "Nah, he had a blue car in the video. That was big cap." He said, "Cream on the inside, cream on the outside." Ice cream, ice cream. No, it wasn't an ice cream paint job at all, sir. No, sir. That was one of those amphibian paint jobs. I seen it. It was glowing in the rain, bro. That wasn't, it was, it was whatever. Come on, dog. All right, that's Moog. Oh, wait a minute. Ableton Live has a text track? What? What update did they sneak that in there? I, I wouldn't use it. I'm just saying, like, that was random. Okay. Back to Neoverb on a Moog. Reverb assistant. Dramatic. Large and in charge. Dark. Right? Dark. Reptilian piano. Bro, oh, he said reptilian paint job type beats. I hate to see it. Jakey Wakey. Billy D stream. I gotta turn it down, of course. Uh 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 uh, slow down, sir. We gotta, we gotta put everybody in their appropriate persona for sure. Yeah, we gotta record that. We gotta record that, Playboy. How do you record the tremolo bends? Hold on, 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 hold on,
It ain't modulating, sir. There's a wavier sound that it does, if I can remember it. It's one of these. Maybe it's just not. Maybe she's just not that into me. We'll do it slowly, pause. No one's talking about? That's all I have to do. They usually does this wavier sound like a tremolo or tremolo or trimmer. Something like Juliana by Wallace Audio. <laughs> Might have to grab that, grab, grab, grab back, grab back, grab back, grab, 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 grab a bag. A boom, boom, a boom, boom. Oh, she is not in time. Big old gap. I'm a big old freak with a big old gap. I'm like, oh, that's interesting. Not the more you know. All right, we're gonna bring that back. Bring this up to the zero crossing. Ableton, please act zero crossings. Tired of doing this. How do the people who do like the hardware modular videos use Ableton? Because I know they got uh they got a clip and crip clock ah, crip and clock. Bro, what are we talking about? Have to clip and crop everything too. But they be acting like, yeah, I got this modular rack for $60,000 in a suitcase and everything's in time and in sync. Man. Like, no, it's not. Don't lie to these people. Oh, there you go, play button way at the end again. Come on, dog. like a little too late right like just a touch like this is like late what like right in between those two notes nah, it's like in between and there's no in between why donde estas Just a little bit. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm already tired. I'm already tired. I'm not even going to do this no more. And have this tricky thing that it does as long as I don't know I gotta do it I gotta do the thing I can't I can't use that mode I was gonna say I can groove quantize the audio oh sigh It's just off a little bit. The end is fine as the beginning. Like right here somewhere. It's like it's too close to greatness. You ever been too close to greatness? It's like... Why 
Why is there a delay there? It keeps putting this goddamn thing there too. And it's not looping five. No wonder. Come on, dog. Stop playing with me. I bet that was the whole problem. Let's remove some of these loopers. Please jump. Out. No. Still ain't it. Yeah, it's like yeah, I don't get it. I'm like right there, like Meh. Like one throws them all off. I hate it here. I never, I never, Dad, I never wanted to go to this school. I know where it is. It should be there, though. He has in between notes. Donde está. And this one's in between notes, too. It is what it is. Yeah, everything's fine with this one. This one's not hitting for me for some reason. Is it because it's not hitting? I won't find it. I don't want to find it. I'm not gonna find it guys, I'm lying to you. It's okay, it's okay. I try to be a perfectionist, but uh, this loop, we're not selling it for $6,000 on eBay. So we're gonna relax, fucking relax a little bit. All right, home piano, let's do that. Everybody's gonna have their own reverb. We're gonna compress them together and then put everybody in the same reverb again. Whoa, relax, move it back. Let's hope my CPU can handle this. Right now CPU is jogging between 10%, which is pretty decent considering the fact I have three neo verbs. All right, so jazz guitar, that was my favorite. I want this to be ultra realistic, of course. Well, I said we're on a yacht, right? We're in a dark yacht. MG the Future, does reverb got the masking like Neutron? Ye between each other? I did not look for that because it's not an EQ in that sense. No significant masking detected, it might. There we go. So we want to we gotta compare that to the uh, the next guy. Hold on. I just love how it does that. It makes it sound real. Let's do it. Let's unmask a mask. This one, more realistic, medium size. It's gonna be in a bigger room than the guitar. That doesn't make sense. They're in the same room. We'll make it dark. A dark piano. Super realistic, actually. Unmask that signal Looking at the other one Did it do a job? Yeah, it says no significant masking detected That's that's powerful That means the reverbs are not colliding with each other Again, something I would have never figured out how to do in real life Let's make this dramatic. We can even make it real. Let's not. Let's make it less real. It changes the size of it instantly. Pause. Let's put them all in the same size room. And you'll see why I didn't want to quantize it in a minute. Once I'm once I bounce all three together. Masking. Yeah, it's not detecting any smoke between each other. That timing is gonna drive me nuts, man. 
Do I record this one more time? God damn it. Young Guru said, pause. <laughs> Yeah, it's not it's not ripping, that's why. It's not actually playing that note. Why is there a delay on that? Yeah, it's not actually it's not hitting that first note. What are you talking about? Yeah, come on, cut it out. The end is perfect. This is begin. You know what? We don't need it. What do the cool kids used to do? They'll do call and response. They'll do something else at the beginning. I ain't got time for that, but I'll imagine I, I'm, I'm pretending I'm dead. Oh, that's fine. That's, that's it. Congratulations. And now they always say congratulations. Let us go on a vacation. And now they think I'm moving to Jamaica. It'll be the Jamaica. Jamaica. You know, I don't know. I think that's how he said in that song. I ain't gonna hold you. Pause. All right, so we're gonna do. Yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go, loop de loop. Here we go. It's always going to drive me crazy. I already see it. I'm going to deal with that, though. That that I can deal with. The ending I can deal with. It doesn't matter in the context of greatness that I am and how I'm going to do this and put this together when we hit them with the, hit them with the SP filters. All right, so now we need... Meh, meh, meh. Everything's in its own room. I actually don't like the... I don't like the Moog being that close, to be honest with you. The realism is killing me, bro, because I wanted it to sound real, but I don't. That's crazy, bro. That's a crazy ass reverb. I ain't gonna hold you. Pause. Because you can put it in front of everything, right? Like, right there, like, fine. That's wild. That is, what the hell is that? What is, where do they get this witchcraft from? Did they have like a bunch of midgets in the isotope room just like making preverb presets all day? And they're like, we're gonna blend between them. Yeah, whatever, whatever, whatever. I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. I'm done. No more reverb midgets, you know what I'm talking about? gonna be fire bro if I actually arrange it <laughs> can you imagine if I actually arrange my loops properly you hate to see it you would hate to see it uh hmm something like this right here Shane I'm gonna move this around Shane we're gonna duplicate hit on the L duplay 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 Shane oh yeah this this one's going on eBay for about 200 you know what I'm talking about Ooh, the only Grammy award-winning loop you'll ever need can't hear a preview, but uh, trust me, it's fire. Like, I don't trust you. You don't have a hairline. Meh. All right, let's do this. Um,
That room sounds crazy. How does it do that? Now let's put them all in the same room. That's weird. That's crazy, bro. Just turn the, the wetness knob down. <laughs> That's what she said. Yo, this is crazy. We need one more friend. Effects rack. Effects rack to move the mode. We need we need a panning differential between these. They're all in the same stereo space kind of thing. And then we need this guy to move like. Why? What is it called? It's called effect rack, right? It's always so difficult to find because it's like a sound toys. No, it's a sound toys effects rack. No, it's effect rack. There's one that's called dynamic pans. It's too, it's, the rate is too crazy. There she is. There she is. Is that it, guys? I don't know. Do I need to add anything else? I'm, I'm bugging. I'm drawing a blank. UAD plugins. So it's not being cute out here. Um, didn't they give me Fairchild, like the old Fairchild that no one uses? When does it turn on? That sound like that. Oh yeah, I gotta bypass this guy. That's crazy. What is life? Sun. Move the time constants. I am moving the time constants. That's where my mouse is, AA Bay. If you can't, I don't know if YouTube shows you where my mouse is, but that's where it is. I'm looking at it. How though? How does it sound like this? Why does that sound real? I am I am befuddled at this. Hmm. I just have a bunch of curse words and I'm not gonna do it because the kids might want to learn how to use Neoverb. That's a bunch of curse words. There's a bunch of curse words that I'm not gonna say right now. 
That's all. That's a bunch of curse words. My whole life. My whole life now, guys. You know, like Casey and JoJo. All my life, I've been struggling for audio realism. You know what I'm talking about? Like that whole remix featuring, you know, uh, who do they call him? Brent Fayez? You know what I'm talking about? Nope. That was the whole thing. Neo Soul Verb. Ha! Ha ha! All right. And then we <laughs> delete that. And now we can export the loop. Like we are some decent human beings. Oh, I'm a 44.1. The project will be rendered at 48 and then down sample. Please do. Please do. Uh, we got to put it in parentheses, loop. I don't know, sir. Put loop first. Oh, Lord have mercy. 129. 129. Shitty minor. Meh. MG mixing mixing. You love to see it. Yo. <laughs> that pull tech, that pull tech uh, compressor was like, man, it's real. Put some iron on it. Like, what? What are we talking about? How did it do that? I don't know, bro. But I do have a new problem. I'm, I wasn't, I wasn't supposed to make the beat that way. I wasn't supposed to do it at that tempo. The target tempo was wrong. Whew. Let's go. Let's let's go. I wanted to resample it. You know what I'm talking about? I wanted it the uh I wanted to slow it down to that tempo. I didn't want it to be that tempo. It's all good though. This is a small thing to a giant, literally. And we'll go to twenty twenty October. We 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 out here. Maybe maybe I should put it on one twenty nine first and then chop it, then time stretch it. Let's do that. Remind me to speed this up. All right, all right, perfectly looped. Okay, sounds awesome. Question, did y'all hear that? Y'all did, awesome. All right, so we got this all together. We got the double lead for some reason, never needed it. Um, I'll make a unique version of this. Name piano. And on the piano track, what we'll do is woof. You know what I'm talking about? That boy, nice. Whatever y'all, whatever you think, whatever you think is right, that boy is nice. Make unique. I don't want to get, I have too much dip on my chip. I did this, I did this in the wrong order. I'm talking about time stretching. Oh, I don't know, I can make a beat with that. I can make a beat with that clip. Give me that, meh. This one. I'll make that unique too, right? I'm just going to flip it a different way. That one could be uh, everything. RuPaul, uh, I'm talking about. We'll keep that word set. And there's one word. This is the guitar, right? That's okay. Whatever. We can pitch. We can repitch in halftime and do all that. So I'm looking forward to doing so. I just want to make sure each part is like a progression and track. This one is where they're together, right? This one's just a double. That's just the original, right? Now I want to duplicate that. You know how like you have jazzy low and jazzy high? This one I'm gonna call Jazzy Faye. Why? 
Why? Explain this to me. Oh, that's stupid. That's why. Hold on. How does Fr can Fruity Loops do that thing where it's just like isolated? Like when I did this, shouldn't it was just isolated piano? We gotta get rid of Jazzy Faye. Yeah. I gotta clone piano and find the piano again because that's the way FL is giving it up with audio files. <sighs> all right, all right, all right, all right. I'm not worried about it. I'm not worried about it. I'm not really worried about it. No, no we're not worried about it. No, no. One day we're gonna have to talk about it. One day we're gonna have to talk about it. Not today though. You know what I'm talking about? What's good, George Desire? On God, what's good, bro? Alright, we got we got the parts and the pieces of this puzzle. I so bad one at a time, Shasha. That's crazy. This is in the wrong order, of course. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just gonna tell you right now. I don't get I don't get where I'm going. I just know I can take that loop and make 20 more loops. But um Yeah, we'll we'll start there and tweak. Um, the the next point of contention I'm going to have, of course, is when I change the tempo of this. I don't know if FL is going to be be kind because it's too slow for the type of beat I want to make. You see what I'm saying? It it hold me. Next time, ne ne next goddamn time, we're gonna use a goddamn goddamn. Next time, I would just send it to uh, Ableton and. But I love doing the drums and fruit loops. I don't know, bro. Whatever. If I'm not using NPC, I'm using fruit loops. You know, I'm talking about for drum stuff. We got all these. I would normally send them all to the same group, but we don't know if we're gonna keep them the same. We don't know if we're gonna half time them all. Whatever, whatever. So I'm gonna bust them and treat the master like they're the group. But individually, I'll be able to pan, auto pan, delay, reverb, blah, 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 and give you more texture out of your loops. Um, loops that you spend a whole hardware budget on eBay for. Let's talk about it. Whoever did that has any education. But by whoever, I mean the girlfriend's count that we're using our money to buy our own thing and paying a small eBay fee to fact like we're about to get a Grammy or not. But here it is. I need an icon. Meg. 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 Change icon, sir. Meg. All right, for the for the for the sake of intensity, that just sounds so real, bro. Neo verb, you need it in your life if you're going for realism, and that's why the other reverbs still have a place because you're not always going to want to go for reverb. Uh, you're, not, you're not always going to want to go for reverb. Ah, you're not always going to go for reverb. No, you're not always going to want to go for realism. Holla back at your boy. Take some of that low south. Low south, what's good with you, bro? I see you. Okay, 
don't have enough screen space as usual. Turn piano fade out. I'm searching for whose drum kits I may devour today. Today we're going across the pond. from BB King to Zaytoven real quick. Oh, you know the vibes. You already know. There's no need to be clamorous out here. I'll do it now. Oh, give me the same clap that everyone's using. It's in C2. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. I don't even need to see this. We we already know what this 808 pattern is. We're grooving. Something like that. Something like that. Whoa. My reds and my blues got confused. Hold on. Hold on. Slow down, sir. Boom. Okay. Boom. 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 Something like this. First of all, first of all, the clap's good though. Thank you, thank you. I don't like the uh, the pitch this is in, but this is the pitch of the song, right? Hold on, I'm messed up somewhere. Somewhere in my brain's not doing this right. Oh, no, no, I'm sorry. Um, I don't like the uh, the tone of this 808 at the C. It sounds fly like that. It doesn't sound the same here. It's like it's it's Fruity Loops mixer. That's what it is. The answer is it's Fruity Loops. Um, but I feel like still, to make this sound better, you raise the key, right? Like, uh, like this. Like it's up here somewhere. Like It's like, it's, it's up here. It's where I want it. Anyway, um, I believe the progression I was playing, though, was like. 
five to one ratio, something like that. Something like that, real good. If you start on five, how do you get down to one, Shane? You go down seven steps, man. So I go go from five steps. I go down seven steps. Hold on, guys. I gotta do this long division in my brain. Oh, that's why it's not working. Stupid. I didn't start on the one when I played those chords. Never mind. I might be I. Right. I might be I. Right. I didn't start on the one. I ended on the one. So we we'll start higher. We we'll start on the five. Meh. Yeah, and it's still kind of too muffled for my taste, to be honest with you. Like it's man, man, like it's man. Like I don't know what that is. I don't like it. But we're gonna transpose it and see. One step, two step, three. It's the, it's not that it's eight oh eight. Okay. I thought it was the key. It's not. It's just this is a flat eight oh eight for some reason. It's his eight oh eight. His eight oh eights. They have a they have a particular style of music they do. So I'm not gonna judge them. It's not for this though. We gotta bring it back to, we gotta bring it back to America. Huh. Is the, that's the old Lex Luger joint, right? Spins, right? Will you spins? The Donde Esta El Pitch is in C. Yeah, right, Let's, we'll see. Yeah, there's no, there's no need in this life to ever use nothing that's not the spins 808. I'm convinced. One, two, three. All right, we gotta go to a third. Got a sub, so maybe we gotta see if these stack right. Yeah, we got. Oh shit! Yeah, I know the vibes. Come on. All right, all right. I don't see the clap no more because I put this dumb shit right here. It threw my whole the whole math of my head off. It's all good though. It's all whatever. I'd rather be with you, Marsha. I hate to say that. Here she is. Now let's see if there's a better kick for that. If I don't 
stack that clap, it's a gonna be. If I stack that clap, it's gangster. So I'm going to see if I can stack it. That's all I care about. If I can't stack it, it's not gonna go the way I want it to. That's the one they use, right? They use this a lot, the kids, the cool kids. Yeah, there it is. change the energy because like when the beat goes back to normal these two sections are only on the hook part so you'll see all the energy is going to drop it just rides like this pause and you can speed up that and then when you put the kick and the extra snare in it it goes it goes off right to really set it off though add your open hi-hat uh the rhythm some of these are trash though let's talk about it I would never do that to my open eye hats. I don't know. I don't know. It's a certain kind that does it. Like those will do it because they're like, it speeds it up. So we'll just use those, fuck it, right? And the place that you normally put them is this little, uh, that one and two beat. Speeds the whole shit up. But now I need it in key with the god dag on hi-hat. And I don't know how to do that. I don't know how to tune metal by ear, but I know that ain't it. Close. Too too close. She she right there. She eye right there. Still a little too sharp, right? Microtones. There she is. Close as I'm gonna get by here. Let's talk about it. when you're playing by hand and stuff you go from your feeling or your gut but that's cool too you know I don't think one way is better than the other but because trap music is embedded 
in the way that we make music this way, it's hard to break that pattern, I admit. Who's texting me? Hopefully not Shorty doo -wop. Yo, I got like 20 production questions and text messages. I love y'all, but y'all need to watch the streams. Y'all know I gotta watch the streams. Y'all know I'm live. Like, hey, MG, I saw you went live. Let me text you real quick. This is, this is the third day in a row that this has happened. some loops and not the other um and i don't know how to do that um i ain't gonna, I ain't gonna hold you because the guitars are in there the guitar that womp, 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 that's the sound that's doing that um see like this is the guitar by itself it's already half time and the idea is to remove it from that and um i know how to do this fruity loop sets hold on i oh, got oh Y'all, y'all always want to be y'all like y'all like to build a bitch workshop. Y'all want to build a beat on YouTube. Build a beat. Like, hey, MG, what if we put a little 10k on that guitar? Like, God damn it. We gotta add it to Jazzy. We gotta add it to Piano Fay. Piano Fay and Jazzy has halftime. Cool. So you have to do this little thing right here. We're gonna add it to Piano Fay. We're gonna do this little thing here again. And add it to Jazzy. And we're going to take it off of the main loop. I think, fingers crossed, hopefully those settings remain. Because if, if it doesn't, I fucked up the whole vibe playing with you. Talking about some goddamn, I want to hear the real guitar. Well, man. God, no. All right. What? How does that even go together? It doesn't even, it doesn't even do it no more. No, I know what you're saying. I'm, I'm teasing, guy. Like, relax, relax. Just relax. I feel you on that pause. You know what I'm talking about? I feel you, fam. I know what you're saying. Have time to right? There's a few. 
few, there's a few, there's a few tricks I can use for her. There's a few tricks we can use for her. Halftime might be one of them. We definitely want to drop it in pitch. <sighs> Bruh, it don't take that long. That's how we're going to transition that. You know what I'm talking about? figure this guy out right here hold on the don't they stop um it's hype that does that right i gotta remove the hype and i remove the open hats or something I move them back and forth though. The hi hats, man, they could be wherever, right? Then we hit them with the man, man, beep, beep. Who got the keys to my Jeep? Room, you know what I'm talking? Something like this. We'll see. For no reason. Zoom. I'm 
completely. Hate to see it. transition into that you know you had a reversal reverse crash man man this beats on man do it like that mm, that done day where all my cool effects at i don't know i don't even feel like doing all this why am i mixing this i don't need to do all that whatever let's send our drums to the let's send our drums to the mixer mg the future send it it's time for you to go to the goulage What's the a logical order of this? We'll bring the we'll bring the 808 up. We'll bring the kick up. We'll bring the clap up. That's fundamental. We got 14 snares. We'll bring those up. Then we'll select them all. And we'll gradient gradual gradualize them. Isabella. Oh yeah. And then we'll use a we'll use sound toys to float that around. My, we might was well, we might as well float three of them around. That snare that is causing the issue and the open hat for sure. And I think Pan Man is, the, yeah. We'll we'll Pan Man three elements. And 
actual hi hats themselves will do the same thing. Lego, 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 Lego. Don't freeze on me. drum sense so I'm going to send everything that's not a snare to this guy and see if we can get a we can go from large room I don't know we go from medium room to whatever we're gonna we're gonna figure out a series of issues to fix here in a minute put all my percussion in this reverb send to see if I can put them all in the same kind of drip swag swagoo Lego, please don't freeze on me. Effect rack is fire. Got a jet. Take care. Andrew Wagner, appreciate you stopping by. So 100 brand. Is the universe signaling to get sound toys? I was digging it on site on the site stream yesterday. Yeah, sound toys is a kind of elite. I ain't even I ain't even crack it open for real, for real. Yo, bub. Let's save one more time. I don't trust it. I don't like the way this feels. New verbs already there. Save, 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 Neo. And in this run, Neo. I just thought that you got that one more. It's not on this list, though. Come on, dog. Like, stop playing with me, bro. I want FL to redo its plugin manager. Like, it does it. It just does, like, whatever. Here we go. We want realistic reverb for this? We do in the medium room, right because of trap. It's out of the way of my snares. Call this perk verb. Now, we need a snare verb. You, get one, you, get, you see where this game is going? Because you couldn't do this before because I didn't know how to set it up. So we know the clap is going to have mad. You know what I'm talking about? But the secondary ones are going to have more. This one's less. These can have more. gonna have me buying more plugins nah bro relax we even put soothe on it yet. you know what i'm talking about you gotta slow down you gotta sl slow down buckaroo cool see what i'm saying it brings everything to life effortlessly if i may add And this is a little bit more reverb since it's moving. No, I'm talking about. I know what the hell I'm talking about. 
I ain't scared of you, mother. <laughs> Birdie. Birdie back. Oh, I can't bust these or I lose my sins. How does that work? Will Fruity Loops allow me to do that? One at a time. Trash, trash. I got that. That's trash, trash. I got that. That's trash, trash. I got it. That's trash, trash. I got it. Da, da. So I learned appropriate shortcuts. I'm not going to mess this up. I mess this up. Uh. Side chain too. I forgot I know how to do that. Hold on. Let's go for the gusto real quick. Hold on. Drum bus. We gotta go for the gusto on the drum bus. Hold on. Good Excel. Fourth quarter for music software, hardware not bad at all. DJ Tyson. DJ Do More. What's good, bro? <clears throat> Add that buttus. Reverb on everything. Add the buttus. Well, this already has reverb, so all I'll do different. Like since I made this loop with the reverb already, I'll send it to the other two reverbs. Just a little bit. Just a touch. I love a little bit. That's not key sweat, but it sounds like key sweat. Just a little bit. I can never figure out who that song is, but now it's in my YouTube playlist. Another thing we got to do that we can't forget that we have is, oh, the whole reason why I bust these down like that, on my drum bus, I could put Neutron, right? And then let, oh, my dumb ass. You're supposed to put the 808s on a different... We should have put the 808 on a different track, but since it's the spin 808 and it's really a kick, then we're not going to. But now we can um, enhance the uh, the drum bus by putting it up front. We got a little EQ action going. Uh, come on with the delay latency, homie. Uh, bro, you just killed me. You just killed me by doing that. Come on, dog. Friendly fire. Cut it out. Stop being cute. One more time. Why is there a delay? I'm on automatic delay compensation. Stop being cute out here. Really? What is that? Oh, it's out of phase with the sin now. Or is it? Or am I smoking mids? Who you out of phase with, sir? Oh, Neutron puts so much delay compensation that it puts it out of time. That's terrible. That's terrible. That's actually... That's actually a conflict of interest. What is that? Why would why would that be a thing? Why would Neutron be out of sync with Reverb? I know the answer to that. It's the automatic delay compensation, but I don't understand that. It's adding delay to the total drum bus, so they're, they're out of phase with each other. Hate to see it. It was a great idea. Poor execution. So hopefully Isotope fixes that. That's not fun. Slave and keep sweat. Just a touch of love. There we go. Baby, I baby, just a little 
little bit. Nobody, just a little bit. Nobody. <laughs> Take it off and put it back on and redo the process. Mm -mm. No, no, nigga. Not I, said Brerham. That's still too loud for my taste. We can make this guitar so much cooler. We got effects rack, right? You only hear it once in the song, but you don't want it to be that bland when the beat drop, because the A&R be going through it like, man, I hate this, what is this? We ask for Eminem type beats. Like, yes, yeah, sir, you let it drop first. Doubler. The CE one? Hey, I bought that for UAD. That's the uh, the sound, the uh, the Strymon Blue Sky sound. You see the bullshit I be on? You see why I saved it 18 times? Did I save it after the Neutron issue, though? I don't think I saved it after the Neutron issue, bro. Fam. Fam, is my goddamn my sin still here? Yes, yeah, sir. Goofy ass. Oh hell, yo, yo ass hell, bro. Oh silly ass. One thing FL does not like on this version of FL is changing through presets and loading plugins while the audio driver is in use. I heard a rumor from upstate that they're going to fix that in the next update so that you can load plugins without it hesitating. Because, you know, every other doll does that. Like Ableton, you can just keep dragging plugins and it doesn't lose a beat or not a big beat. FL's like, meh. Like, okay. Whatever. Wah wah memory man. Let's let's do it. Yeah. Something like some slight. Now get him up. Time stretches wrong. Something like that. Let's just make it perfectly even. Let's not be cute out here. I need to learn to fruit loop shortcuts for this part of the session. Turn that down, I know. I hear in the background, player hate 
even from outside the club. I swear, like the FL mixer, the throw fader feels like it doesn't actually turn nothing down. It'd be like, it'd be like 10, 5, and then like from 5 to 0 is all the same. <laughs> Bitch, I would. I should. That's the one I was looking for. Come on, how many bars is this? Hold on, hold on. That's, that, 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 that's one bar. That's two bars. So there's eight bars. Something that's annoying me about this. Like when it changes to this fake hook section or whatever this is. Are they not in the same key or something? Fade in, raccoon sound. What's a raccoon sound, Isabella? Hey, <laughs> you hate to see it. He said reinstall. First thing I do every time I reinstall tone, tone said, you know that felt vibes. Auto save on frequent. I don't trust the auto save, but my auto save is on. I still save it myself, because then I'm, you know, you gotta find the auto save. I don't know. If I, I don't know if I was... We need crashes. Moral of the story, we need crashes. cool there's like grand opening grand closing type of sound we'll do it every eight or four bars we ain't got to abuse it say less there she is that's enough sauce enough just a little zatarans to add to it You know what I'm talking started with a contact instrument called Archtop Jazz Guitar, and MG the Future wanted to show you the neoverb and how it makes everything sound more cohesive and realistic because we're a bunch of noobs and don't know how to do it manually on the other reverbs. Yeah, shit was fire, bro. Dopamine. Much respect, MG. I'm constantly learning new life and production elements from you. Much appreciated. I appreciate you, Dopamine, for checking out. The Decapitator... On the guitar intro. Whoa, whoa. You wait until I hit export. Now you now you got saucy ideas for sound effects toys. Um, but no. Yes, but no. Yes, like if we're trying to put this out as a record, yes. Me trying to master this, no. 
Why didn't it save? And why did you bust out the stems like this, bro? No stems, no seeds in the bag. Then I remember, well, no, said to me, said to me, how could I ever, what'd he say? I forgot to hit MP3. Okay, so we got that. I wish I had a standalone application that would allow me to run through my hardware chains without any problems. That would be called Luna. Problem is, you guys can't hear it. Thus, I have to use Ableton to master. Ass backwards. But it's going to sound fire, because I know. Yawn. I don't even think this track is like, I don't even think it's that serious to do all this. Whatever. I'm just having fun though. You know what I'm talking about? I'm just going to go with the flow. Pfft. Who wouldn't? Production stuff. Pfft. Duh. Audio tracks. Boom. Might do two. Might delete later. I don't know. One, two, three, two, three, one, 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 Give me that. Entret. Give me that wave file, my friend. You feel like that's the tempo it is? You feel like that's why I said do? Why do you think this is 103 beats per minute? Bro, the disrespect is so real. There's nothing 103 beats per minute about that felt file. But it sounded good when it sped up though. I ain't gonna hold you, chief. Warp from here, ho. You know what I'm talking about? My goofy ass. That's the wrong file, guys. Cuff that. Bro. I must be sleepy or something. I might got a, a case of the Mendices. Still the wrong tempo. Hate it here. Okay. Do I got enough headroom for my... For my hardware chain, for my hardware chain, for the hardware, that hardware chain, I got no headroom. Her head so big, no headroom. Got no, shit, 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 got no headroom. I need my meters, fool. I need my meters, cool. She ain't got no headroom. There she go. Perfect. All right, now we got to wire this thing manually. Man, I haven't done this in a while. I can do full cam on you. You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm saying? Got to hit him with the, got to hit him with the rewire. You know what I'm talking about? Looks beautiful in here. If I only knew how to use half the things at once. Man. Um, I need the spreadsheet for the, uh, I need to come out of the sound card on 11 and 4. So we use the long patch cables and we're going to need four long. I need to plug these into L. Actually, no, we're going to compress it with the art, with the real nigga compressor. If you don't know what that is, don't worry. We're gonna hit the compression first, like a bus compressor. You know the vibes. And then after we hit that bus compressor, we're gonna hit the uh, preamp situation. Just a little bit though, just enough to make the Zulu go crazy. Make the Zulu go crazy. You know what I'm talking about? So we're gonna hit, we're gonna hit the preamp section of the ESA. Issa is gonna be my preamp for this situation. And we and we still have the choice to use the Neve on the way in. I gotta make sure to bypass that. All right, now we're into the preamp section. We're not gonna drive it as hard as we would the MPC, of course, because we're coming from the computer and the level's pretty decent already. So we don't have to worry about that. So I got output from ADAT into the real nigga compressor, 
out of that into my DI box, which goes to my preamp all in one chain. We're gonna come out of that and we're gonna try a preset on the Zulu that all the cool white dudes with the big studios use for mastering, which is the whole purpose of this. And then if we if that setting is correct and it sounds good to me, we can then throw Suv on the finale and maybe just a touch of L2. And we have the best sounding mix at least, or rough mix I should call it, because I really didn't mix anything. But we should have the best sounding um, two bus known to man. Um, and I think that's interesting, and I think that's all right. I know the questions you're asking is, MG, why do you, you know, why you spend so much money on your two bus, so to speak? And it's because I've been hearing my struggle beats through Waves and Isotope and E Mastered and Landered for years. And after I experienced this, this was a lot more impressive. Alrighty. Everything's set up. Everything's set up. Fingers crossed that the in is in and the out is out. Because you know I fuck that up all the time. Huh. Huh. We still got the little picture in picture right there in case you needed to see it. Face ICU. What's good, bro? Patch Bay Isabella. <laughs> Just entered into a magical room where they make the reverb presets. Snail damnify. Hey, where the little where the little reverb midget's at? And Wilk, Day Cab Shorty. I learned it all from MG and CMP. Hey, hit up the dab on them. You know what I'm talking about? The short effects sound sound like some animal. Much respect, MG. All right, who else? Anyone else was talking? Bro, that, that was Slave back in the 70s. B Hoss, B, B Bothead Old School. Oh, yeah, bro. I know who it is. Um, the brother. I just mix their voices up. So when I sing it, I don't know if I'm singing that song or Keep Sweat. So when I look for it, I hear Keep Sweat and I search Keep Sweat and I can never find it. But if I go to my um, my playlist that has like Patrice Russian and stuff on it, I think Slave comes up. Um, your boy uh, Johnny Kemp, I think is it. Just got paid, I ain't I something. And then you know I got uh, that's in that playlist. Slave songs in the um playlist. I got a song that y'all don't know about called uh, Touch. What is that song by Touch? Hold on, y'all got me messed up. Y'all y'all let me go through my old school playlist. These are the songs that were playing when I was consummated. When I was created. Hold on. Just a little bit. Just a little Tell me, blow my mind. Just a little bit. What? Don't they? Where, where are your playlists at on YouTube? Dun, 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 dun. It don't matter. Let's, let's one thing at a time, goddammit. All right. I got to make sure this signal goes through the console. All right, so I need to go through five and six, which I figured out on the Apollo, you can right click and link a left and right channel together. It automatically does it. I don't know if it chooses the right ones when you do that, but I think they're paired. One and two, three and four, five and six, seven, eight. So right click, link, five and six will get paired. Right click, seven, seven, eight, get paired. So you have the stereo control and use one stereo plugin UAD instance on all of them. So you don't have to adjust two different ones. It's kind of important. For now, I'm going to disable my Neve situation that was processing the motif. We don't need any additional processing going to the RNC. We may get additional EQ on the way back from Zulu because, you know, Zulu does this harshness tamer finger and you might want to boost it back. So um, we'll find out in a minute. I think the output goes to something called external audio effect enables in live, which is why I'm in it. Um, audio can go to configure. Oh, y'all can't hear this. That's right. Because a little hack that I had so that y'all can hear the awesomeness does not show up here. Son of a bitch. It's, you know what? <laughs> you guys can just hear me breathe for a little while. It doesn't matter. You'll hear it on the way in, though. You'll hear it once I... Uh... You'll hear it one of these days. It's just one of them days. But we got it right on the first try, too, fam. You should see the signal right here. Sadly, you can't hear the signal. There's got to be a way to forward that to y'all, though. Is there a Q mix or something like that? Is that a thing? No. The Q doesn't go to... Can Q2 go to you? No, nah, it, it doesn't. I'm going to figure it out one day without, without driver hustling. But I promise you, 
by the looks of it, it sounds epic. <laughs> Give me one second. I'll run through it. I, I ain't going to spend whole much time then. Don't switch. Um, in the Zulu talk, I saved the preset for the Zulu. So, um, Dirt is making a website for Zulu presets because he's a genius. Is this one. So the setting is uh, high headroom and high deck. Um, it's set to HX mode, which is the highest on Zulu. High deck. Bias is set to 12 o'clock, which is vertical. Enhance is set to 12 o'clock because it's vertical. And the headroom and deck are both set to high. So basically, it's like it's, it's almost like bypassing the Zulu, kind of. No, it's not. Bias all the way up is bypass. Headroom high, this helps. Whatever. It's a really hi-fi type thing. What I need to do, real quick, because I want you guys to hear the before and after, maybe. Maybe that'll be a thing. Fucking. Fucking if I know. <laughs> Bruh. I'm just going to loop this. Loop it. Bro. You be playing with my emotions, Ableton. I don't like that. You know I got loot bars here, right? Why? Why? I gotta find a part of the song that makes sense. No, this is the hook, right? We want the real nigga compressor to catch all of this. Can y'all see that? Can y'all see my compressor? Probably not. If y'all could see it, there's gain reduction. I gotta be very careful with that. Bro, you're not even looping. What, what? What? What are we talking about, man? Like, the, like all of a sudden, loop markers don't work. Whatever. You can't hear that, but you can see the it move. I guess it's still not looping. Can you turn the loop on, bro? Like for real, for real. Stop being clamorous out here, Bruh. Anyway. This compressor sounds awesome. I wish you guys could hear it on this driver. I don't know why it stopped working. Y'all heard it before. Actually, I do know why. It's the virtual setup. Oh, fuck this. I can let y'all hear it. I don't need the virtual channel right now. I need the virtual channel for the other shit. I don't need it for this. Y'all can hear this. Hold on. Give me one second while I remind myself how dope I am. Let's go. Y'all should be able to hear this. What the hell am I talking about? I just don't feel like changing back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. You know what I'm talking about? No, y'all still don't hear it. That is incorrect. What changed? What did I change? I don't think I changed anything. Interesting thing, I mean. It's a mystery of chess boxing, to be honest with you. We can monitor it on virtuals, can't we? No. We can't send it either, guys. No, it's a waste of time. One day, one day we'll be able to monitor hardware again. Today's not that day. I don't know why, though. Yeah, you guys can. My goofy ass. I can't. I can't return. To, no, but then the. There's a way for y'all to hear it. Hold on. Y'all heard it when I was doing the motif. So there's definitely a way. Huh. I can hear everything right now. Hold on. Let me see if this works. Let me let me cheat the system. Let's create an audio track, right? with the return that we're working with. Let's see, let me try this. This is Supreme Mathematics. We're gonna try to fix this. We're gonna try to fix this. So the audio is going out and the audio is coming back and y'all don't see it. Although it's mastered out right here. That's mad trash. That's mad trash, man.
And when I do that, it doesn't send the audio out. Oh, wow. What about this? Huh? What about that? You like that? We don't like that. You don't like focus right no more, eh? No, Shane. No focus right around here, Shane. <laughs> you with the Apollo around here, Shane. Meh. Okay, well. I tried to do a good thing here. We'll just run through this. Let me run through this. Just give me a second. Just give me a second. I'll run through this. Easy shmoney. So I got a little compression going on because the kick is the ceiling and the ceiling is the roof. Then from there on my preamp, I can drive it to all hell on the preamp on the ESA. The ESA sounds awesome. The ESA put ass on it and everything. So that's what I'll use it to do. That's all I'm going to do. I'm not going to boost it with the ESA. I'm going to boost it with uh, the console. And uh, unfortunately, y'all can't hear this, but... So the concept of running through hardware, like I just did with the Zulu, this shit sound crazy, fam. I ain't gonna hold you. It sound like a million dollars. Yeah, it sound like a million dollars. But anyway, we want to make it sound like a million plus ten dollars. So my loop back. So I sent the audio out through the patch bay through all the gear, and when it returns, it has to hit a level. Some people use their preamp to boost it to f final level, right? In my case, I'm never going to do that ever again. You don't want to record from a hardware source into a digital source this loud. Unfortunately, after my whole hardware chain, I don't have a, I don't have a gain knob to turn it down nowhere. So for instance, if I turn up my preamp, you see how it went into yellow? It sounds beautiful like that, but the, conver the digital, the audio to digital conversion doesn't like that. So what I have to do is emulate it to some extent. I'm going to enable this preamp real quick, right? I wish y'all could hear this. It's called a mix enhance preset. And we want to record it so y'all can hear it. So you notice this, the setting didn't change my uh, gain any. So I can turn my real preamp up. See how it turns right up here? I'm gonna keep that, I'm gonna keep it green though. You feel me? I'm gonna turn that back down. I'm hoping it isn't causing any problems here though. In theory, this should be okay. That's crazy. It sounds like a million dollars better, bro. Whatever. Fuck out of here. All right. And, 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 if, and if this was interactive and it was fair enough to let y'all hear this shit, then I'd go from here. Then i EQ it. Because, you know, you can add up to four inputs on the way in. So you can do EQ, dynamics, whatever you want to do. In this case, we're just using the color of the Neve. And this preset is called Mix Enhance. So I'm assuming somewhere up here... It added gain, of course, up here. It did a touch of some bass stuff, which you're gonna hear on the Spins 808. Um, it looks like we could turn the 10K up a little bit. It did just a touch of that. So it didn't do nothing drastic, but it's gonna sound drastically better when we before and after this bitch. So that's live, because it's coming through the UAD back end, and we're recording it to a new track, which will be called like the Rough Mix or the Master or whatever. And normally, I in pre previous videos, I put the mastering stuff on it and just export. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to record it here from the tippy so we can do it before or, you know, before and after or whatever. And then I'll, on the master bus, I'll add, you know.
and all that cool shit. Bum, bum, bum. Extendo clip. Why is it this long? Pause. What is going on here? What is that? Hold on. Why? 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 Tell them it's just human nature. Oh, because it's looping. Well, that's intelligent. I know people who chop samples like that. They're kind of weird. You got to watch out for those kids. They'll mess up your school. Anyway. Oh, loop loop is on. It's looping looping. Like, it really wants to loop all of a sudden. Now, some of the loop markers work. I don't need to loop it, though. Whatevs. Come on, dog. All right, so we got the normal range, whatever. We got the record set up from the tippy. Recording from hardware. Maybe restarting Ableton should fix audio source. It, maybe. It hasn't. Um, it's it's not Ableton though. Um, my UAD console is not busting the audio to master out. I can only hear it because I have headphones on. It's a it's an OBS issue. OBS doesn't pick up on a specific channel, especially with this UAD setup, which is it's okay. Meh. The waveform changed. It sounds better somehow. Maybe I'm cap. Nah, that sounds a hundred times better. I ain't gonna I ain't gonna hold you. Son, y'all gotta get a real nigga compressor, bro. If you get, if you got Zulu, get your real nigga compressor. Unless you buy a thousand dollar compressor. All right, we don't need all that. We don't need all that. It looped twice. It looped twice. It looped twice. All right, bring that on back here, boy. Now, how do we get you guys to hear this again? By removing the sends, right? No external input. Okay, yeah, I'll be able to hear it again. Boom, 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 boom. Whoa, my Zoom device is not connected. All right, so that's very low level. That's the original. That's the new one. Relatively the same level. Let's level match them and make sure we got a good thing going. It just sounds a million times better. I don't even need to I don't even need to see it. Make sure these brown hitting the same. So one of my preamps added six decibels of gain to it, which I think was the physical. The ESA turned up. You see how the bass is more boom boom boom? Wait for the bass drop. Just listen for the 808. See how the 808's flattened on the digital version? But on this, on the Zulu version, it pushes it forward. That's all. So it's not about, it's not about loudness. It's more so about controlling um, whatever they call the saturation harmonics, odd and evens, whatever that goes on this master. That's what you're really doing with hardware. You're, you're lifting your, tr it's like a facelift on your track. The only thing I don't like about this song is that there's no defined transients. It's really, the kick wasn't good enough. So what that means is, the 808 is my is my roof, sadly. Until the kick comes in. And even still, those little peaks are like, the Spins 808 is not too loud because the Spins 808 sounds like a kick, but it's not the way I like it to look. But it sounds good though. So we'll put Soothe on it to do the EQ for us. And then on the master bus, we'll get it up to level, right? I don't like that, it's cut my kick. Don't like that either. I need the playback marker to be here. 
I wish Ableton knew how to do that without you having to set a loop boundary. Just playback, playback, playback. Reduce harmonics. Remove what most miss. All right. You see what I'm talking about? We'll loop it, fuck it. And then you can do whatever you want. I, I do say though, like when you're using hardware, you're not gonna wanna do nothing. You just put a you put a L2 on it for real, bro. Like I think that's what L2 was made for. They knew that people were gonna, you know, process as much as they could outside. So like I said, my kick is the ceiling on the hook. You don't wanna do too much attenuation. All threshold's gonna do is bring up the total volume when we put the ceiling back. Solo the other one, I think. That's the old one, which sounds mad decent. Just a kick different at this level. This one's fuller in the bottom. The bass is wider. Yeah. This one's like more in your nose. This one's wider. already too strong so we don't need to play ourselves but yeah man that's pretty much how i would do it um this is just a little massive for your instrumentals this ain't i do on a record it, i guess with voice and everything it'll be much different i'm certain but with the clean ass reverb um neutron when it's working and some of the u80 preamp shits bro uh, i don't know man i don't know man i don't know ain't too many people fucking with the kid i ain't gonna lie right now Ain't too many people fucking with the kid right now and going like I got now. Hardware doesn't move. That's that RNC that glued it though. Oh yeah, another cool thing about um this process, you know the process before, like if I try to export with the audio signal thing whatever you know how i said it, like it drop out it pops when i hit export it says waiting to start and it drops and then it starts recording um and then it goes to a master file well the way i set it up for the output to be recorded live in real time there's no popping because instead of it waiting it's just recording as it goes it's the same thing but it doesn't act like the same thing because ableton isn't bouncing it to a new track it puts it into a folder or hard drive so i guess that extra difference is something but when you're recording from your hardware in real time, you don't have to worry about that. Also, you contain the file, which is now a WAV file. And when you go to your mastering with your digital process, now when you're all done, you can file export MP3 and it'll be a quick offline export. Well, Ableton, it does have an MP3 encoder. What the fuck am I talking about? Yeah, so this is an offline export now. All I needed to capture was the uh, mastered uh, bounce from hardware. Now the master is digital. Or whatever. You know what I'm talking about. Don't play with me. Fire Cell Master. Yes. I guess. So you know what I'm talking about? It's offline. It doesn't have to wait for nothing. Because we processed the hardware file already. Offline bounce. Whatever the fuck. Lit. Encoded. She better be encoded. Boom. Do I need to save that? Not really, but you can. And that's it. And I think we might be able to play it back with our space bar, which is what the CMP video showed me how to fix. Why don't y'all hear that? Whoa, that, that reverb's out nice, cause I ain't gonna lie to you. Bro. That's weird. Y'all just can't hear this. But I can. You see this fader right here? That's everything. 
I need this fader to go to y'all guys. And the way OBS is set up, it's like, eh, eh, slow down. I don't know. So we'll just play the iTunes. And iTunes let you hear it. That's weird. <laughs> Hey yo, that sounds mad decent. I ain't gonna lie. Whoever made that sample did a really good job. The hi hats are a little too loud outside though. But that's okay. The bass is perfect. other questions you guys couldn't you use an expander uh, you talking about like inverse like inverse uh, compression maybe oh my shorty do up hit me up Was fire it definitely sounds better than that master if we'd even call it that that one didn't go through hardware right you can tell too the hardware one is always warmer i mean that's that's nine nine times out of ten that's because of zoom But you don't always want a warm track. You don't always want a warm master. Not every beat needs to be warmed. So it creeps me out on that guitar because that guitar is fake as shit, but it makes it sound real. But yeah, man, nice stuff. Be this crack. I appreciate that, B boy. Lorna B says, I swear I learned so much from MG. All the courses I wasted money on, it ain't a waste of money. Even some of the stuff that might not give you what you're looking for, you know, it just gives you more foundational and, and context. I mean, you know, the, the best thing about learning, or in this case, the best thing about teaching, what makes the live experience so cool is that you guys get to see the context change. You know, I've done the video already. I already talked about mastering. I already talked about EQ. I already talked about arrangement, like an individual, you know, if if I could, I could go through my old channel and probably make a playlist of 10 videos that I've made over time of how to make beats. And you could watch that and it would literally cover everything on how to make beats. But the live videos give you context. And it's something we have called mirror neurons is when we see a human do the thing, then we learn how to do it faster. Um, so, you know, live streaming and stuff is just, I'm just repeating the process I've already talked about, but each time, you know, a new problem comes up, hardware routing, audio routing, whatever the fuck, you know, something being disrespectful on a, a, you know, program closing down and closing up, you get to see how human this really is. You know, everyone, everyone ain't making cute Instagram and Twitter posts and shit, where everything's just perfect and you, you nailed it down in 15 minutes, though, be it as it may, if I'm not teaching or I'm not talking, I can do it in 15 minutes, but, uh, you know, there's no rush, you know, this ain't a, this ain't a fucking, um, uh, Guinness world records challenge or nothing like that. And of course it's fun. That's the most important part. I guess the biggest takeaway is this shit's fun as shit. I had no damn business adding a goddamn Moog to that track. Those, those textures didn't even fucking match, but I did it. You know what I'm saying? Um, I turned the Hydra on, should have used it. What the fuck? Motif, good to see the motif work another day. This this motif is exactly 20 years old. And that piano is still the best piano I've heard. 
It's hot as shit, too, because of this damn sound card. Turning that off. My sound card ain't hot, but my goddamn preamp is hot as shit. Why? Because there's tubes in it. Why? I don't know. Or iron, I should say. Yeah. Gotta be careful with those. Turn them off when you're not using them. And remember, when you when you buy your preamp, you gotta give it time to warm up. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> That's why it's hot. It has to warm up. Anyway, when you're not using your preamp for today, turn that shit off. Don't don't try to be cute out here taking fucking Instagram photos with all the lights on. That shit's not cool, bro. Literally, not cool. Um, it will heat up on your ass. Um, what else I gotta say about this experience? That's all I got for that one. 130 watch, 142 likes. You love to see it. Yeah, that means people left though, Ayo Kalando. People left us high and dry in this bitch. We were the concurrent viewers. That means the most people who are here at once. 200, 123? Or oh, no, that's currently. Who does that? Twitch does that, not YouTube. Twitch will tell you how with the most, the peak amount of people at once. YouTube's like, meh. Fam, you, you make this easier to understanding. Everyone can't explain like you and CMP. I appreciate that, B-Boy. Yeah, man. Monkey see, monkey do. That's exactly what it means, Vigilante. Although, I don't know why, you know, whatever. They call us monkeys. Well, they want fuck them. Chris Kaz, appreciate you. And it sounds so good. You love to see it. X.com. Yeah, bro, I'm enamored with this particular process. I really am. Um, Because I used to think, like, my biggest shit was, like, even in buying the NPC, and it, it's weird because... Look, hindsight is high, hindsight is twenty twenty. I can see why I ended up with all this because I was chasing that. But if I if someone would have just told me from the jump, bro, like if they would have just been honest with me, I can't speak and project on everyone else. But if they would just told me from the jump, like, yo, MG, when you start making beats and stuff, don't waste too much time mixing and mastering, and then give me why. And the why is is that mixing and mastering is going to be handled off by someone else. Anyway, and ideally, if it's handled by someone else, it's going to be handled by one, someone who specializes in mixing and mastering, and two, people who know what they're doing. This way, what it does is it gives you, it's like freeing up your RAM on your computer. Well, if you're a learner, right? You're a student, right? You got you to gotta learn to be good at something first. It's cool to be aware of the different procedures and have fundamentals of everything, but you want to niche, like at be good at something. I say for at least two years. Like, at least put two years into one of them before you start mixing them. Because you'll, you'll know, like, if you just focus on beat ideas and making beats and adding drums to loops and playing chords or, you know, using these VSCs that we use, and that's all you do every day, then what you're training your mind and your body to do is to take a concept and transfer it to the computer. That's what you really want to do. Like, what we're really learning is how to speak a computer language. Like, FL Studio is a computer code. It's a language. Like, playlist, this, that, the windows, the blink, the, you know, the frame rate, all of that is, like, you're translating your thought to Fruity Loops, or you're translating your thought to Ableton. And that's why I get so slurred up, because I, I know so many different languages. But I, I would say dedicate yourself to a couple of years to one language, to one focus, hearing something in your head and translating it to the screen out of your speakers. With that being said, a lot of that shit that you hear or that's in your head has a certain way about it, especially when a new album dropped and you're like, how do I get my beats to sound like that? Um, it didn't break that curse for me until um, Timberland was doing something, Throwback Thursdays or something, or something that Timberland was doing maybe six, seven years ago. I was finally able to hear a Timberland track unmixed. And when he played it, I started laughing my ass off. I was like, ha, 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 this sounds terrible. Because it sounded terrible unmixed. So I was chasing what, you know, Timbo, Switch, Just Blaze, mixed and mastered. But never in my life have I ever heard their shit unmixed. And that's what the internet and people who are starting don't have no context of. Like, you're not supposed to sound like an album out of Fruity Loops. You know what I'm talking about? Like, it ain't supposed to sound like that. I'm talking about the fullness. I'm talking about the stereo depth. I'm talking about all that stuff, that subconscious stuff that we don't have words for that are really good yet. It's because, yeah, nigga, like when they're making their beats on their Tritons and their NPCs, it sounds like a Triton or NPC. Say that to say, I didn't realize that until I got an NPC. Like when I made a boom bap beat on an NPC, I was like, this sounds just like the underground hip hop with doing nothing else, just using the NPC, chopping the sample, using the, the appropriate drum kits and the sounds. It sounded just like all the shit that I used to hear on the old forums, because those nerds didn't know how to mix and master. They were just, you know, two-tracking their NPC. 
when I two track my NPC, I'm better than them niggas at chopping samples and stuff. So my beats are cra- can be crazier than them, but at least I have the sound now. The, the you know the sound sound, not the sounds with an S. The sound that that word we're trying to represent something. The sound. You shouldn't be chasing the sound so early on. You should be chasing fundamentally bringing your ideas to life and networking with people who can help you do something with your sound and then craft it to the sound. That's in my humble opinion. If you're older and you've been doing this for a while and you know how to transcribe ideas to MIDI and get everything out to speakers and the VSTs and effects and you get the sound designing part of your sound working, then yeah, the next level, if you're not trying to sell beats at least, like, you know, if you're not chasing the placements at least, is to finalize and mold your own sound professionally. Because now that I can do it by myself, after doing this for almost, well, I keep saying 20 years, it hasn't been 20 years yet. It's been about 18 years. Doing this for 18 years is like, I could put out anything I want instrumental wise and get the sound that I was looking for. And like I said, I would have never been able to do that unless I did things in a certain order. And it seems like, you know, the most high kind of just guided me through all those steps, you know, how to sample, how to chop samples, how to sound design, how to make my own drum kits, how to chop up breaks, how to do lazy chops, how to do through mode, how to do piano stuff, how to do MIDI stuff, how to hack, how to do it by hand, how to do this, how to mix, how to master. Now I know how to fucking do reverb. Let's talk about it. It's like, I don't really know how to do reverb, but now I got a plugin that can do reverb. And I think reverb was like half the fucking battle I had getting the kind of full mix that I want. And that shit showed me like, whoa, whoa, like there's terms for this shit, bright, dark, motherfucking close, far. Like we knew that, but the plugin just makes it so instant. Like, you know what I'm talking about? And you, in your ear will get used to that. You'll get used to hearing of what a close or fall reverb is now because you can see it. And now when you listen to a record, you'd be like, oh, they're using like a, it sounds like they're using a close reverb on that synthesizer and that new Metro track. And then you go back into Isotope and you do that. Etc. You know, and then the mirror neurons start kicking off, and you know, after a few weeks, months, or whatever, it'll be second nature to you. And then you take the training wheels off, and you'd be like, you know what? I've seen this pre-delay setting a whole lot. Every time I load up one of my pianos, it's always between twenty and thirty milliseconds. Let me do that. Boom. You know what? I I know what that Holly reverb sounds like. That sounds just like that new plate reverb from UAD. Boom. Let me dial that in. The only thing you really got to pay attention to subconsciously is the EQ, though, and because it shows you the EQ every time, you like. Oh, shit, when I put an 808 in this bitch, it does this. When I put a string in this bitch, it does this. You know, your brain will just start recording it so you can go out of the plugin and start. You might even just, you know, it just becomes Inception. Um, That's how Dutron was for me when it was EQ and shit. I was like, oh, that's all it does? Fuck, I should do that. <laughs> it is, And it comes in handy when you're using stuff that looks like this that doesn't have the graphic on it. You'd be like, oh, you know, it boosts 10K. Well, let me double click on 10k and boost 10 fucking k and it sounds a million fucking k better you know it's i don't know it's it's a long way to do it but i'm self-taught so i just record these and help you guys because ain't no one teach me shit that's the flex the flex is i taught myself let's talk about it Tone said, ten ten thousand dollars and ten G's worth of OGs. Shane said, you know that ten G's is facts, OB and Chiba? It is facts. X.com, hey Okolando, I see y'all. Street King, facts. Hey bro. I wish I could turn those high hats down. They so fire, but the Zulu added the saturation to him. Yeah, that shit's crazy, fam. You hear the little moog in the background? Moving back and forth. got the Instagram arrangement down packed though. I ain't gonna lie. That's my Instagram arrangement. Facts, bro. Being self-taught is definitely a flex. Can commit. Yeah, man. 
the cut the guitar did sound mad realistic. And I got better guitars too. The ample stuff is really good. I just knew that was a jazz guitar and I wanted to match it with a jazz piano sound to see if it make a difference. And it made a difference. The tone wise, you know, the string sound. That chirp, chirp, chirp. I thought only good guitar pro does that. Ample guitar sounds really good. The contact guitars by Orange Tree is what that's called. Orange Tree is one of the best contact sample designers for real sounds. Them, sound iron, and it looks like a like our boys at labs kind of thing. But sound iron and orange tree is up there. The problem is I don't have a full version of contact. So I don't buy all those contact banks. And they were kind of expensive. Like they're always like three hundred dollars for like three presets and I'm not scoring and selling beats like that to need a $300 fucking guitar. So when the Ample stuff went on sale, I got that. They have a player and everything too. It's more function. So I don't know. Ideally though, I wouldn't use contact at all. <laughs> I just don't know how to play a real guitar fam. There's guitar presets on the Motif though. Motif has a, a guitar appreciator. You know, there's like 20 patterns or something. You can run through them. And they sound like a Robin Thicke Lost Without You though. Because that's exactly what that is. That Robin Thicke Lost Without You is a Motif ES preset. I just gotta learn how to do that walk down. I do learn that walk down. I got it. I thought only that. But yay, man. Discord link in the description too. Link sim post up some presets for us for the Zulu. I know a lot of you got Zulus or getting Zulus, so I can't wait for Dirt to finish this website. So I gotta upload my presets. I don't have any presets, I'm capping. But um this setting right here was nice. This is a really nice mastering setting. If it says HX, it's for mastering. I gotta try this lo-fi setting too. Should have put that on the sample, shouldn't I? Cuff that. Any other questions? Concerns? Quotation marks? I had to buy me a UAD satellite too, because this ain't cool. Dark Five, what's good, pimpin'? Y'all might be behind. They might be loading ads while I'm live, right? But yeah, man, I appreciate y'all joining me on this beautiful Saturday. I'm going to go ahead and walk my dogs and shit. My girl don't get home for a while, so I'll just keep listening to this instrumental on my phone until I get tired of it. But yeah, Synergy of the Future, you know what I'm about. Appreciate you guys. Much love. Peace.